Welcome to SHP case studies. We've been doing this case study video series for quite a while. So if you want to check out the rest of our video case studies, please look at our YouTube playlist that has a variety of different types of work that we've done on behalf of our clients in different industries from and different industries to and how cold call applies to each one and how we've found success. Today, I have a very unique project that we've done for uh, one of our clients. Uh, this business manufactures and distributes a very specific type of um, release agent and lubricant for uh, molding companies, plastic uh, injection companies, and those sorts. And so we're going to look into this and how uh, cold calling had an impact for this company. It's an interesting story because we did not have a lot of success at first. It was a bit tougher and uh, we had to really tweak the script and the market. But what you'll find is that over time with these tweaks, we were able to see a progression overall in the appointment setting rate. So we'll look into that after we do a little preview of this business. So again, uh, this company has uh, release agents, industrial release agents and cleaners uh, that helps the manufacturing process. Um, and so they essentially help molding companies uh, to be more efficient uh, by, by their releasing product from mold. Uh, so their products essentially, uh, you know, have the ability to be price matched uh, and they offer free samples. So something that is you know, what I love about working with our clients is that there's typically uh, something unique, rare, or uh, innovative about our successful ones. And this is certainly within that category. Uh, when you have those types of offerings, it typically piques the interest or curiosity of the person on the other end. And so always looking for in our four pillars of cold call success, something with high product relevance. You know, there's other pillars that matter and you can have an amazingly relevant product, but if you don't have an accurate market, if you don't have the right message and the right SDRs, then it can be a tough go. So we want to have all that balance, but it does start with a product that people want or need. You know, one of the things I tell our potential customers at SHP is that we can't sell black and white TVs anymore. We can't sell CD players just not something that's relevant to the 21st century and beyond. So we need to make sure the product qualifies to be of interest or of need in today's marketplace. So the objective, you know, this, this particular company had come to us because the owner uh, was a successor uh, and had taken over the business from his father. And he, you know, was looking to find ways to grow the business. So needed someone to help him generate leads and appointments since he was in such a busy person. Uh, and he had himself and one other person that we would set meetings for. So the idea was to set up a phone appointment to send free samples of the product that they offer to these manufacturing businesses to see if this is something that could help them. So it's a nice offering, a nice, uh, uh, you know, next step with a little hook at the end for, you know, a reason to continue uh, the conversation with our client. So let's look a little bit into the scripts. If you have heard about the way that we go about our scripts, then you would know we utilize the H to H method for cold calling and script writing. The H to H method is a structure and format uh, and philosophy for going about cold calls in the 21st century. And there's three different formats that we use. The consultative, which is meant for folks behind a desk typically. No, the no bull script, which is typically for those on the go or in saturated markets. And the survey script, which is for certain industries that you want to create allure or exclusivity with and might need some qualifications uh, early on to go forward. In this particular uh, project, 
you know, we were using the consultative conversations, which are traditional script that 80% of our campaigns utilize. And it's, it's one that's designed to create a dialogue with someone statement, question, statement, question, right? So this one had a really interesting opening. You know, it, it's nice when you have a product that's unique because you have those features early on that can kind of illuminate and, uh, you know, pique the interest of the person on the other end. So take a look at this script, you know, it'll be in the beacon document, you know, we go through an opening, we ask a honing question, you know, this is a discovery question specifically designed to give us a yes or no answer. But either way, the yes or no is one that we can work with. You know, we call that a balanced question. You know, if you say something like, you know, are you happy with your current product? You know, then what you're doing is you're closing down the conversation. So if they, if they say yes, well, it's like, okay, well, then call us back in the future. You know, I've kind of put myself in a corner. Uh, but if I open up the conversation too much and I say, you know, what are you doing right now? Tell me all of the things. You know, the problem with that is you can lose control of the conversation, especially in the first seven seconds of a call. So we use a balanced discovery question, which is, do you have something in place right now or have you considered it? And if they have something in place, if they don't have something in place, well, it's fine. You know, that's why we're reaching out. But if they do, it's different than asking, are you happy? Because the idea is we just want to know where they're at with their familiarity with this product or service. And if they have something, well, that's fantastic. And clearly you see how important this is to your business. There's a lot of value already that you've placed here. And that's why we're reaching out. You know, we can either compliment what you're doing and we are a little bit different than others. And then that moves you into the calling prop based on what they say. Now, a lot of times they'll throw in something else, right? Yes, we use XYZ competitor or no, we've discussed that before, but didn't really seem to need it. Or we have our own solution, you know, so we're okay. Well, that gives you information for the calling prop. It's setting you up to have a more focused uh, delivery of the value you provide. Once we got through the calling prop, we can ask some discovery questions that keep the conversation going and give us some fodder uh, as well as uh, uh, some notes to take and then ask for that next step and uh, uh, close down for that appointment that we're looking for. And so this was this was the the final script that you see here that we came up with. But the challenge and, and the biggest part of the story here is that's not how the way it started. And I think that's the biggest lesson. When we look at the four pillars, relevance, uh, industry or target, you know, messaging and the uh, SDR fit, you know, this one had a, the messaging had a huge impact because the market for them was always the same, you know, maybe location changed or, uh, you know, slight variations in the title. But when we look at the overall kind of analysis here, the biggest changes came when we tweak the script, you know, we're constantly looking at what are the words that are going to pique the interest and keep them going and be willing to commit. And that's what made the biggest difference here. We had, if you look down at the graphs, the graph that I want to show you first is actually at the very bottom. It's your appointment setting graph. So you can see that over time, there was a slight increase. We had an overall appointment setting percentage of 1.70 and a lead setting rate, which includes all of the different types of leads, appointments, warms, and nurtures. So different play-by-plays that we have with our next steps. They were slowly increasing over time. And that was the, the kind of big picture result that we were looking for, that at first it was a little slower. We did have some success, but as time went on, there was slight improvements. Now, the other thing, the other metric that I think is super critical here is also the appointments on DM connects. So what's a DM connect or DM convo? That's the amount of times that we got to the person that we wanted to speak with the decision maker. So, if you look, it actually started out, um, you know, the, the conversion rate was really low. We had a lot of DM connects the first time with extremely low conversion, but with slight tweaks to the script and, uh, some, some changes within the campaign, we were able to see that appointments on conversations drastically improve from 
you know, a, a two or three percent up to 30 percent. Uh, and so changes to the script, uh, some slight changes to the to the uh, market make that kind of impact. See, our belief statement at SHP is that we believe cold calling can work 100 percent of the time. If you have a product or service that people want or need, and if you have a market that picks up the phone and if you can have those two things, then it's just a matter of whether it takes one month, six months or more for it to work. And you can see the impact of taking those, those lessons and learning and making those adjustments. You know, because cold calling really is, it's the, it really is one of the only channels where you get live feedback from your marketplace. So great campaign here. I love these unique solution ones where you have a unique product or service or innovative one to the marketplace. And you're able to make those adjustments, you know, to, to find success and continue that process, you know, until we're, uh, we're always aiming for perfection. We'll never get there, but that slight increase in progress fights against, you know, some of that negativity or objections that are out there that can kind of stymie the growth and the results. So there you have it. Our chemical manufacturing and distribution company, uh, reaching out to other manufacturing companies, uh, and any questions you have, please reach out. We're happy to answer if this is one campaign or industry that's relevant to you. Thanks. Are you a company that wants to grow their sales pipeline, but don't know how to do it outside of cold email, inbound, and normal channels? Consider SHP. We provide cold call appointment setting and sales development services to generate leads and appointments outbound for your sales pipeline so you can have control over your sales destiny. Give us a call at the number provided or reach out to us in any way. We're happy to chat with you about how we can cold call and generate leads so that you don't have to. Be excited to do the work for you and can't wait to hear from you.